Hey, it's David Duford again at davidduford.com where I help insurance agents like you become top producers. Today continues our second video of the four-part series of the appointment setting basics approach to no matter what kind of insurance product you sell. So to recap, in the last video, check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It will go over in detail everything I'm about to rush over. So we focus on the main point, which is closing your appointment and getting the appointment. So up to this point, we've talked about the introduction and the reason why we're calling. I'll restate what that is. Hey, Mrs. Jones, this is David Duford. The reason I'm calling is because you requested information on our state-regulated program through a postcard you sent in the mail. So that is the phrase we're up to now. So now that in the mind of our prospect, if we try to get in their shoes, they are thinking, okay, did I do this? I did. I think I did. You want to continue this process with very little much of a break. You don't want to give them the opportunity to foster control over the conversation. You want to continue the process by basically telling them the next step of what's going to happen and then selling the appointment. So the reason I'm calling you today is because it's my job to deliver the information you requested. All I need is five minutes to show you what this is all about and wondered if tomorrow at 10 or 2 would work best for you. <clears throat> so let's stop and analyze what the close series means. So first of all, I'm telling them the reason I'm calling them is because of I'm going to be in their area tomorrow. You don't have to have some elaborate reason. Okay, most of these people understand when they request information that somebody's going to call them and try to set a time up to explain what it is and how it works. Totally normal for you to say, I'm in your area and need to deliver this information that you requested. So notice I didn't say, I need to come by and close you into a uh, sale. <laughs> You're, you you want to use language that's easy on the ears, that's non-threatening, but applies or basically accomplishes the same goal, which is a sit down at the house. So the reason I'm calling you today, Mrs. Jones, is because I'm going to be in your area tomorrow I want to see if I can take five minutes of your time to deliver this information. So deliver this information, five minutes of your time. Those are very low thresholds that make it easier to set the appointment. Now, instead of saying, for example, an hour of your time, people are like, oh, God, an hour of a sales call. I can't take that. So, um, and you can do it in five minutes if you really want to. Nobody's going to call you out and say, time's up. You got to get out of here. Uh, if they like what you're hearing, uh, what, what they're hearing, then they'll let you stay around longer. So after you accomplish that, then you go into the close. The close is, uh, again, let me rephrase from the top so I can kind of get to the process. So the reason I'm calling you today is because I'm going to be in your area tomorrow, Mrs. Jones, and wondered if I could take five minutes of your time to show you how this works. Would 10 o'clock tomorrow or 2 o'clock be better? This is what we call the assumptive close in appointment setting. We're not asking them, may I come over for an appointment? We don't want a binary decision on yes or no. We want a binary decision on yes or yes. You, you know, when we say 10 or 2, for example, the thought process of the client assumes that this is going to happen and it's not up for debate, but they just assume, okay, now the thought process is what times are good for this person and good for me. So that's the, what we want them thinking is that we are coming. We're assuming we're coming. Always assume, let them object if they have a problem with it. So again, to recap here, this is pretty important training. Remembering that we want to use tonality and pacing, of course, in this section. We want to tell them the reason why we're asking for an appointment. We want to, we want to sell the appointment by making sure they understand it's not going to be a long-term deal, that there's no obligation. And then assumptively appoint, set the appointment based off of a binary choice of a, a time or B time. Not a binary choice off of yes or no, but a binary choice off of yes or yes. This is how you get appointments. And it's very important to stress one last detail. The biggest thing that most agents miss is they get the introduction. They get the reason why. They get good at selling the appointment, but they forget to ask for the appointment. That's the biggest thing I think if I could advise anybody on this video watching is make sure you ask for the appointment. How would 10 o'clock or 2 be better? After you get through that whole deal, 10 or 2, what would work better? Always ask for it because if you don't, they'll just kind of be like, uh, I'm kind of busy. But if you tell them what times you're good, then they'll start to think, well, what of those are better? Makes sense? Hopefully it does. My name is David Duford at DavidDuford.com. Please join me for the next video in the series where we're going to talk about rebuttaling 
the uh, issues that come along with setting appointments. No appointment setting session is perfect. You're going to have to learn how to handle rebuttals to be an expert. And make sure you check out my website to learn more about my recruiting insurance agent programs, my seminar marketing mastery programs, as well as books and membership programs for sales training that I do for insurance agents. My name is David Dufour. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.